This is the incredible story of the Apache kid. Was he a renegade, an outlaw, or a criminal? I'll let you decide. The Apache kid was born at the San Carlos Indian Reservation in the 1860s. He was kidnapped by the Yuma and he was eventually recovered by the United States Army. He was brought back to San Carlos where he meets Al Sieber. Al Sieber was an army officer who had the task of training Apache scouts to help with the pursuit of Apaches who would not live life out on the reservation. Of course, we're talking about Geronimo and other really well-known Apaches who decided it was better to live freely on the run from the United States government than to live at San Carlos, which was essentially a death camp. Sieber enlists the Apache kid to work as a scout. He sees something in the kid. He recognizes that this guy has really great skills. He even becomes a father figure to the Apache kid. So El Sieber and the Apache Kid play a crucial role in the campaign against Geronimo. Life is going pretty good for the Apache Kid. He has a lot of respect and status as an Indian scout, but things take a turn for the worse. A personal blood feud ended in murders and it landed the Apache Kid in prison. While this violence is taking place, El Sieber is shot in the ankle and he's crippled for the rest of his life and he blames the Apache Kid. The Apache Kid is captured, he's tried, he's sentenced to death, then he's sentenced to life in prison, and then they decide on 10 years in Alcatraz. That's right, he's sent to Alcatraz Island as a prisoner. Unbelievably, his case is overturned and he's sent back to the reservation. He's put on trial again, and now he's sentenced to seven years in prison. On his way to prison, he actually escapes. He becomes one of the most wanted men in the United States. So after he escapes, he's accused of all kinds of crimes. He's considered a renegade, an outlaw. He's wanted by the United States government. He's wanted by the Mexican government, but he's never captured. In fact, nobody knows what really happened to the Apache kid. There's reports that he died. Some people think that he was visiting his family at San Carlos into the early 1900s. There's even reports that he was raiding ranchers in Arizona territory all the way into the 1920s. To this day, his death remains a mystery. In the comment section, I want your thoughts of the Apache Kid. Do you think he was a renegade, outlaw? What do you think?